Carla Bruni posted an edited photo of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, which replaced Meghan Markle with Yoko Ono. In an edited image of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Carla Bruni replaced Meghan Markle with Yoko Ono. In the engagement photo of Prince Harry and Meghan, the 55-year-old former French first lady shared the photoshopped image on her Instagram handle with the punchline lyrics from the Beatles, All You Need Is Love. Bruni even tagged Meghan in the post, for which she faced backlash for condoning racism and for drawing comparisons between the two women of colour and their alleged influence on their husbands. Bruni, the wife of the former president of France, Nicolas Sarkozy, has over 750,000 followers on Instagram. But the post has nothing to do with race and everything to do with divisive women. It has nothing to do with either woman's race, it has only to do with the fact that they're both manipulative women, nothing more, nothing less. Not everything is about race. Ono oh is regularly cited as the main reason the Beatles broke up, despite the Fab Four denying her involvement. Like Meghan, the Japanese actress, Ono oh moved to a royal institution in London to marry John Lennon after their alleged affair crumbled, Lennon's first marriage with Cynthia Powell. Lennon and Ono oh had first met in November 1966 at a gallery in London, where she was preparing her art exhibition. She began calling him and visiting him at his home. When Cynthia asked for an explanation, Lennon told her that Ono was simply trying to obtain money for her avant-garde bullshit. But when Cynthia was on holiday in May 1968, Lennon invited Ono and they spent the night recording what would later become his Two Virgins album. He said that they made love at dawn and Cynthia came home and found Ono wearing her bathrobe and drinking tea with Lennon, who simply said, Oh hi. The report further mentions, Other related scandals made it murkier, ultimately causing the breakup of the biggest band in history. Lennon and Ono then tied the knot just months later in 1969. They were married until he was tragically murdered on December the 8th, 1980, at the age of 40. Similar comparisons are being made about Meghan's role in Harry's ongoing verbal assault on the royal family. Following the Netflix series Explosive Interviews and now a recent memoir titled Spare, which has sparked wild allegations about the royal family's functioning, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary has been slammed as about as vital as a new season of Love Island by a royal expert. Over the weekend, reports emerged suggesting that the royal couple are planning more Netflix shows. However, sources said that they plan on moving away from shows about themselves to focus on different content, which will no doubt please some of the critics. A source told The Telegraph there will be more of a heavy focus on fictional scripted content. It will be rom-coms, feel-good and light-hearted programmes. A pal of the couple added, they've had enough of being in the spotlight for now. Royal expert Daniela Elsa is not too keen on seeing the Sussexes on our screens again anytime soon. Writing for News.com Australia, she described recent reports that Harry nearly took over presenting duties for an episode of Saturday Night Live. Elsa noted how some high-profile staff recently left the couple's Archwell Foundation last month, including Oscar-nominated producer Ben Browning, who oversaw the docuseries, and marketing head Farah Taylor. Archwell's press secretary said the two were part of vital look-back projects with Harry and Meghan now planning to look forward. Elsa blasted, side note, Harry and Meghan's agonisingly self-indulgent TV series was about as vital as a new season of Love Island, or the world finally hearing Zayn from One Direction's thoughts on the European Central Bank's debt policy 